We're here with Diane Davis, owner of Miss Minnie's right here in Chalot, right off Main Street. And I absolutely love this door. I've been here quite a few times. Just come over here during my lunch breaks and look around. And the most recent time, I've, I've gotten quite a few things and pretty much redid my entire room. And it looks so cute, and I love it. I love the antique look and the rustic and the vintage. It's very, very nice. Well, thank you. So tell us a little bit about Miss Minnie's and how it came to Brunswick County. Well, we started in 2004. Um, a friend of mine called and said that the old um, Miss Minnie White House on Main Street was mm -hmm. going to be available. And we had always wanted to open up an antique shop, so we decided to give it a try. Okay, now who is Miss Minnie? Miss Minnie White used to live in our first location. Um, okay. She raised a family there, and the White family is still a family that's in Shalote. Okay, okay, so it's still right here in Brunswick County, so it's got a little bit of history to yes, it. Yes, definitely. Like that. Now tell us a little bit about how it works, because when we came in, I didn't even realize that there's different people have different locations in the store, so tell us how that works, and how do you find, I guess, your stuff, because you go out and find some stuff on your own, is that right? That's correct. Uh, we have about 12 dealers in the shop, and they all do their own thing in their own space. They have their own style. And I think all of us like to go to estate sales and auctions and sometimes even a yard sale or two. You might mm -hmm. find a treasure. Oh, that's fun. Now, so what are some of the things? I mean, obviously you can find a lot of things, but are there certain requirements or people who, who have rented out space here can bring whatever they want? Or does everything have to have a kind of antique type feel to it? Well, we try to have everything have a vintage feel to it at okay. least or be vintage inspired. Um, you know, we have antiques and linens and handmade soaps and cottage furniture and just everything you can think of, really. Okay. Now, have you ever found a piece that has been something that you've realized was a very important part of history or you realized it was something that was very valuable? Well, we did find some Peter Hunt prints once at okay. an antique auction, and I think we paid about $10 for them at auction and turned out being quite valuable. We ended oh, up wow. selling those on eBay. Oh wow, okay. Yeah. Now what's your favorite, I guess, part or piece right now in the store? Well, I love um, painted furniture, so I, okay. I love anything that's painted and kind of distressed. That's kind of one of our specialties here. Okay. Now if a customer was coming in and they had something antique or vintage, is it something that you would accept, or is that not how you guys work here? Well, generally, since we rent out space, we just don't have enough room to do that kind of thing. So um, if they want to get on a waiting list to get a space, that's possible. Okay. But generally, we just go with our dealers, and they take care of their own space. Okay. All right. Now, why do you think, I know there's a few uh, antique or vintage shops that have come about, maybe consignment shops throughout Brunswick County, but why do you think Miss Minnie still stands out over others? Well, we're kind of known for affordable prices, for one thing, and we have great dealers in our shop who take a lot of time and effort in making their booth look nice. Like, you know, we're really proud of the way our shop is set up. Mm -hmm. It's easy to look at and easy to find things that you're looking for. Okay. I mean, I love it. I think our viewers would definitely love to come in here. And now, when the holidays come around, do you kind of put in some holiday type things? Or I know now that we're in the new year, you know, we'll have some, a few holidays coming up. But Valentine's will be coming up and St. Patrick's Day will be in the near future. Uh, do you kind of put some things that resemble those holidays Oh, in here? yes. We always decorate for holidays. Okay. That's fun. Now, where are you located? Just so our viewers know. And what's a telephone number? And I know that you actually have a Facebook page that I've seen that you put up a lot of current pictures, which is great. Yes, we do. We're located at 4710 Main Street, and we're open from 10 to 5, Monday through Saturday. Okay. And if you can't come in for the personal experience mm -hmm. of Miss Minnie's, you can always visit us on Facebook. Okay. Now, do you, do you seem to have a lot of regulars, or do you have a lot of new faces come in? Well, we have some regulars who have been with us, I think, since we opened our first shop. Oh, wow. But we always see new faces, especially during the summertime when the tourists are here. Okay. Well, it's very great. I mean, really, I can't encourage our viewers to come out enough to see because I know I've found so many different <laughs> things, and it just puts a fun feel, if you like this type of stuff, into your home. Thank you. So, well, thank you for being on the show, and You're we welcome. appreciate it. And hope that you get some viewers coming in here. I hope so, too, and I hope you can stay in shop. Well, thank you. I'm sure we will. <laughs>